on how to multiply mixed numbers. Now, a lot of times students want to start out and they just want to multiply the whole numbers and then multiply the fractions, but that's an incorrect procedure. What we have to do first is change these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So two and four fifths would become 14 fifths. Three and one eighth would become 25 eighths. Next, before we multiply our numerators and denominators, we want to look for opportunities to cross simplify. So as I look at this diagonal of 5 and 25, I'm looking for the greatest common factor, the biggest number that will divide evenly into both 5 and 25. And 5 will work. So I'm going to divide 5 into 5. That's once. 5 into 25 is 5 times. Now I'm going to look at this diagonal with 8 and 14. I think two will work. Two goes into eight four times. Two goes into 14 seven times. That makes our numbers a lot nicer to work with. Otherwise, we'd have to multiply 14 times 25. We don't have time for that. Just kidding. We're going to multiply across. Seven times five is 35. And one times four is four. Now we're ending with 35 fourths, and we want to make it in the simplest form. We don't want to leave those improper fractions, we want to turn that back to a mixed number. So that's going to become 8 and 3 fourths. And there we did it, 8 and 3 fourths.